Hello my lovelies. Um, we're going with this angle today. <laughs> this is like take 56, just so you know. We were going to do a completely different hairstyle that I practiced, looked great, took it down, got gussied up for you, went to record it. I have spent the last three hours trying to make it work and it has just, it's not gonna, it's like that time I got the Gibson girl hairstyle to work once and then never got it to work again. So instead, we're gonna go with this one. Now, you guys know that uh, when I have no name for my hairstyles, I name them after ladies. So today's is the Kimberly. Uh, because I have a couple of you Kimberly's out there and I like the name Kimberly. And now somebody's texting me because of course they are. Uh, any hoodles. So what we want to do, this is going to be nice and easy since my other super cool one wouldn't work. Um, don't worry, we will dress this one up and it will look super cool when we're done with it. So um, separate the front out like so, as I always do. I'm so predictable, you guys. Um, but I think you guys are like me. Like if it's all pulled back, you just, there's no interest happening in the front. It's just not as fun. So, you know, let's leave some out and we'll make some interest. Um, everything else, we are pulling back into a ponytail. A legit ponytail. You see my ponytail holder? Um, but we're going to do it to the side. Um, we're going to do a braided bun today. It'll be cute. It'll be a little different. But it's a braided bun. Like I said, after many hours of frustration, we're gonna go with one that I already know works because I've done it. Uh, you may have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me there. Uh, this was the hairstyle I wore when my husband took me out um, on one of our very, very rare dates. <laughs> um, I don't get to go out real often, you guys. It's just one of them things. So uh, yeah, so we want a pony. Sorry about that cut. Uh, my husband came home and the dogs went crazy. Where were we? Um, put you over on this side so I don't have to mess with you right now. So uh, we have a ponytail mm -hmm. and I was just getting ready to make a unicorn braid and I know some of you are going to ask me what exactly is a unicorn braid. So I don't know that it's a technical term. That's just what I call it because to me it looks like a unicorn horn. Uh, but what you want to do, your entire pony, you want to take a small section. Let's say about this big, right? And we're going to make a rope braid out of this. Um, especially once I get the smooth at the top. What is going on with you? Okay, so um, after we rope braid this, we're going to make a larger rope braid um, out of the whole shebang. Uh, using this as one strand and all the rest of our hair is the other strand. Um, and then to me, it resembles a unicorn horn, and that's why I call it that. <sighs> so, uh, let me get the first little one braided because it takes a little bit, especially for the smaller braids. Um, and then uh, I'll show you how to put the big one together and then we'll finish up because it's not much more after that. Like I said, this one's nice and simple. Um, the biggest part of today is the adornment. Um, that is where we get um, into all the fancy stuff. Uh, basically, I wanted to show you that you can take a simple hairstyle um, and make it really look like something that was not so simple. I find that braids um, really help this because, you know, it makes your hair move in all kinds of new and interesting ways. And uh, yeah, you just need the right kinds of pins and clips and sparkles and things. And uh, you can make any hair look super fancy without really being overly complicated. Okay. Um, Back in. All right, so we have our little tiny rope braid and all the rest of our hair from this pony. Now, when you twirl your, br your braid, you'll see that it tightens up one direction, loosens the other way. We want to go the direction that makes it tight, so that'll be towards my face. Um, so I'm going to take all of the rest of my hair and twist it towards my face. And then we're going to wrap it. So twist towards the face, wrap around each other like this. There we go. See? You see how this goes? 
Can you see? It looks like a unicorn horn. It looks like a unicorn horn to me. I don't know. Maybe it looks like something else to you guys. <laughs> you can call it what you want. I've always just thought of this as a unicorn braid because that's what it looks like to me. So um, the thing with these type of braids is that you're going to have a lot um, left over at the end, as in uh, our tail is going to be pretty substantial. I need another clear hair tie. Um, but that's okay because we're just going to tuck it anyway, so it's no big whoop. But um, as soon as I get one, there we go. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to make a bun. <laughs> what kinds of bun? A roundy, roundy bun. A cinnabon, basically. Um, that's it. Do, 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 do. So, you see, here we do. Unicorn braid. Awesome. And then we are going to make a bun. As in, seriously. Um, to make it a little more stable, I am going to add a couple of pins as we go. I will be using my Amish hair pins. Um, yeah, it just because it gives us a little extra stability. Um, but yeah, guys, this is just a Cinnabon. But as you can see, it is a Cinnabon made out of a fancy braid. So it looks like something. Um, I'm a dork, I know this. Um, you do not have to tell me. We still get it nice and flat, yes. So I'm gonna tuck the tail up underneath, um, like so, and then pin around the outside. Uh, you can use whichever pins you want. I am going to reinforce with long bobbies because I like long bobbies and if you hear a weird sound right now it is pouring the rain here we're having thunderstorms so I apologize this camera is good enough that it's probably picking it up <laughs> whereas my other camera never would have um, let me see how does that feel that feels okay where's my mirror where is my mirror I didn't put it back where I was supposed to all right that is pretty good. Look how pretty that bun is, you guys. It is, isn't it? Look how fancy that is. And that is a Cinnabon. It doesn't have to be super fancy. Now we get to the super fancy, which is this mess up front. The bangs. So, as you guys know, um, actually my bangs are really pretty long right now. Um, but that's because uh, I've been wearing them back more than I've been wearing them out, so I just haven't cut them. I will eventually. I always do because I like having options. But today's option is the twist in, in, in this, this thing. Poof. There. I couldn't even remember the word poof. How do you like them apples? Um, actually, let's use the smaller. My smaller bobbies. I can dig them out. Just because smaller bobbies are easier to hide. So I'm just going to put one in this direction. And then I'm going to put one in the opposite direction, the X pattern. Come on. I think I need to get a better container for my little bobbies. <laughs> All right, X pattern. And then we're going to make a flower. Um, because I can, but just to keep things uh, similar, I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, that we did here. I'm going to make a tiny rope braid, and then I'm going to rope braid that with the rest of my hair so that we will have two of the same bun. Uh, why do this? Why not? Uh, that way everything matches and it's all clean. Okay, um, I'll be back in a sec. Let me do a second unicorn braid. Alrighty, let's see if I can give a second unicorn braid. I don't tie off the end of this one though because I'm going to make a flower out of it. Um, but you see, it looks a little different when they're a little closer, I guess, in thickness um, than it does when you've got wee tiny and really thick. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys know how I do my flowers. I get the center started like so, pop my finger out, maybe, oh, I made that a little tight, and then we roll. 
um, and we make a flower. Now, I will say, uh, if you want to make a flower with this braid, like a big puffy one, this one is a good one because, like, all you have to do is pull on the, the thicker bits and it'll make it very fluffy. Um, I'm not going for big fluffy just because I don't feel the need today, but um, it does work well for that if you want to do that. Um, especially, I know some of my finer hair girls, they like, they like fluffing those braids out, which I totally get, so, you know. You can get down with your bad selves in that fashion if you would like to. Um, I absolutely understand. Oh, oh, don't. Almost dropped my center. Um, so we got our flower all up and groovy. Um, because what I want to do is make them touch here. So I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure, yep, it feels like they're, they're touching. Um, we need some of these. Tamp that flower down. I do find that U-pins uh, really work better for the flower style buns um, because they tend to catch the centers a little better. Let me see how that looks. Pretty good. Okay, so, I mean, as you can see, it's the exact same braid, but it looks very, very different depending on how you wind it up. Just nice. Somebody has decided to say hello, Daenerys. Mommy has been in here a while. You'll say hello, Daenerys. <laughs> Aww. Um, go on, go on, go on. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to decorate. What we're decorating with, um, like I said, I want it to be classy. So I am using two kinds of pins. I have these. Um, hopefully it'll focus. You see they're kind of like you pins, but they have sparkles. And I have these pearls. Um, what are these? These are corsage pins. Uh, woo, thunder. <laughs> but you see I have used hot glue on the ends so that you don't jab them um, to Daenerys' back because there's thunder. You can stay in here with me. Um, this was going to be so pro today, you guys. And Anyways, um, yes, this way you don't jab yourself in the head. Uh, I made these Christmas time last year. So we're going to go every other one as we decorate. Um, starting with these because that's what I want to do. So as you can see, everything is sort of to one side. Um, but I want these to follow all the way down. So we'll start up front, actually. Right here, like so. So we get that little sparkle right up front. And then in with a pearl. And then in with some sparkle. I can't tell if those are exactly even. This is the most difficult part, trying to make sure that you're even. And then a pearl. And then a sparkle. Right here. Like so. And then a pearl. So you see what we're getting at here, right? Pearls and rhinestones. Um, just going every other because I think they look nice that way. So I'm going to finish adorning and then I'll be back and we'll have a final look at our Kimberly. Okay, that right. is that done. Here's our Kimberly. Mm -hmm. So you see, I actually, you can, you can keep it relatively simple with the sparkle. Um, we've got everything sort of going to one side. We did our line of pearls and rhinestones. Um, with my leftover rhinestones, I put them in the center of this bun. And then I did some pearls in our little flower up top to sort of, they work with each other this way. Um, it's fancy. I mean, I think it looks really fancy. But you see, it's not difficult. It's very simple. It's not hard to do. This is an easy hairstyle, but it looks really fancy. And that's what we want. Um, 
especially uh, for like our first one because like high school girls can do this. Um, if you can't afford to go get your hair done for homecoming, and I'm sorry, I'm having a problem with my earrings for some reason. Um, like if you can't afford to go get your hair done for homecoming, or if you didn't know you were going, didn't have time to make an appointment, um, you can do this yourself and look like you went and got a pro done. Uh, I don't know, I think it looks good. If it's, if you're a bridesmaid, I think this is pretty. Um, Cause I know there are a lot of fall and winter weddings. Uh, or just fancy party. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, and I think it looks classy and appropriate. It's not overly tacky like I sometimes tend to be. Um, but yeah, I think it, it turns out really nice. So there's your Kimberly. Uh, I hope all of my Kimberlies like this one. Um, I do try to name the prettiest ones after my girls out there. So uh, let me know if you try it. Send me in pictures if you do. Um, if you need sparkly things, go to Claire's the mall. Um, or eBay also often has many uh, U-pins with sparkles on the ends. Just, you know. Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, we are discussing hair trends. Um, it'll be my thoughts on hair trends, uh, which I thought would be fun for us. Okay. Um, until then, have a great day. I love you guys. I'll see you then. Bye.